Hello. My name is Nathan Barnett. I'm a comedian. And to be honest, I don't know why I'm here. I'm in this building with some pretty incredible people. I've literally had my mind blown multiple times tonight. There's a CEO, there's directors, there's an astro astronomer, there's a five year old who can recite poetry, there's a woman who invented a spacesuit, or no, created, built spacesuits and lived in a bubble for two years, and the wiggly guy from YouTube. So, <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna hold up against everyone, but I will try my best. Uh, the biggest word I will use tonight will be transform, so don't get your hopes up for any any learning or anything. Um, <laughs> but I, I guess I'll just get into why I made this video that I made that you saw earlier where I was dancing around. Uh, when I was in high school, I used to really like the singer Beck. It's the only thing I ever listened to. I listened to him all the time. When I was going to sleep, I'd fall asleep with headphones on listening to him. On the bus, I was obsessed with him. And after I kind of got out of Beck, I still like him, but after a while, I just never had anything that I, like, I loved, like a band that I couldn't stop listening to. It was stuff I liked until just recently, when my older brother introduced the band Yell to me, this French pop band, I couldn't get enough of it. I was like, absolutely obsessed with this band. They, they made me feel like, beyond happy. And, like, I've never done drugs and I've never drank, but that band made me feel like I was on drugs. I couldn't get enough of that band. I was seriously obsessed. I, I, I brought my bike all around Los Angeles, so I had my headphones on a lot, and I just couldn't stop listening to this band. So I'm listening to this band, and uh, their new album came out recently. Uh, it's called Safari Disco Club. That's why there was a safari theme to that video you saw. So as I'm listening to this one song, there's a song, there's a song called K Vu 2, and there's a remix version of it on the end of the album that this 16-year-old kid in France remixed, and you made the song even better. It was mind-blowing. It was like, I feel like, like, a, like a recently divorced woman who just wanted to go out and dance and just let it all out, because <laughs> that's what I would do. I just, like, I gotta get it out. So I just like, would start dancing. I'm dancing on my bike with no hands. I'm just like ripping it, going crazy. I'm walking down the sidewalk. Everywhere I go, I'm like, I can't stop dancing to this song. It's, it's cha it's, it's, that song literally changed my life. Like, I dance all the time. Though. I go dancing by myself every week on Saturday in Santa Monica, and I just like, let it out. So because of that, because of that song, I was like, I gotta shoot a video to this. I shoot a lot of videos with my friend Paul Cummings and my brother Seth in Santa Monica, and we film all the time. And uh, I do some music videos with my own characters. But this band, I was like, I gotta make a music video for this band, because I knew they weren't gonna be make, shooting a video for it, at least not for a while, because they had just shot the video for the original song, KV2, and the KV2 remix didn't have a video. So I was like, perfect, this is my favorite song, I'm gonna make a video for it. So I. Just, as I'm riding, I got the idea when I was riding my bike one time that with the safari theme, I was riding my bike around listening to the song, and I kept imagining this lion chasing a guy through a jungle, and the guy was like running from this lion, swinging from vines, and like jumping over like waterfalls and stuff, and in the middle of the jungle dancing. I was like, that'd be a really cool video. So I did the best version of that that I could up in the hills of the Pacific Palisades in Santa Monica, with my brother dressed in a lion costume chasing me around. So. That was like the most cinematic part was the beginning. And we were like, ooh, we'll focus on a flower really tight and that'll look really good. We'll start them off and hook them. And then the rest will just be like straightforward tripod shots. So what, what we did was my friend Paul, my brother Seth, and my friend Erica Rankin did all those scenes up in the hills with the lion and stuff. And the majority of the video was just, I would walk to random places. I walked around Santa Monica for two days and I'd have the camera on a tripod. I left it the same height and I'd walk into like the middle of a grocery store. I'd put it down and I'd count with 20 steps as fast as I could. So I'd be 20 steps away from the camera, and then I'd just start dancing until I'd dance as hard as I could until someone would kick me out of the store, which happened a lot. So, <laughs> and, like 99% of the time I get kicked out. But I try to keep the moments in there where people were coming in and like messing with me or like getting in front of me because uh, I did a video earlier before this one with my friend Paul Cummings for a chip contest where it was the same idea. I was just dancing like in the same spot and they would cut and my body wouldn't change but the backgrounds would change and I would stay the same. So this one, I want people were, and the people were saying, oh, it's probably on green screen. He didn't really go to those locations because they hadn't seen all my other videos where I'm crashing panels with Peter Jackson and James Cameron. So they didn't know that I don't care about ruining people's lives and getting in the way of things. So I wanted them to know I was really messing up people's lives in these grocery stores. So I went, so I would I'd wait for people to cross in front of me. And then one of the shots you can see in Starbucks is a uh, woman's like, she's walking in front of me, getting her stuff. So you can see that there's people in front of me and behind me. And I'm in there with those people. You can see my shadows hitting them and people are looking at me and stuff. And in that Starbucks, this is a funny thing, in the Starbucks, uh, this woman was yelling at me the whole time. The world kind of shows, sir, get out of the store. Please, you have to leave. And I was going, one second. And I just kept dancing. And I was just ignoring her because I was like, I need to get the shot. This is like the best one, this is the best people interaction. So I'm just like ignoring this woman. And she, eventually she comes over and she just like steps in front of me. She's like, you have to leave. And she was blocking the shot. So that's why I had to end that shot with her. So 
that's basically how I filmed this video. And I wanted to capture the feeling of how I felt when I first heard this band, and I just like had to, I had to like express the extreme joy I felt. And I felt like that was the best way to just go out and be joyous in front of the camera. And <laughs> that's that video. <laughs> All right, see ya. <laughs> <laughs>